Hello y'all, welcome back to Big LT. So um, today we're going to uh, be looking at a collection of single strobes, at least all the ones I could find and all the ones I know. There's some more, but um, due to the lack of pictures and very, very, very little information, uh, I decided not to include them. Um, I might make a part two of this, um, just in case if... Um, Somebody on Discord gives me the information about this, um, about, I mean, about the missing single strobes are not on this uh, slideshow. So yeah, I might make it part two. So this might be unfinished. So uh, yeah, we can always add on to it. So um, it's, uh, it's a little odd for me to make a video about single strobes before dual strobes. Uh, because, uh, you know, like, single strobes might have came, f they might have come first, and the dual strobes came second, but I, um, for some reason in my book, I always consider dual strobes to come first, and single strobes to come last, and then it goes on, you know, that's why I always know, well, that's why I always, uh, um, went by, so, uh, yeah, it's a little weird for me to do this, but, um, I, for some reason, started to work on this, and there's only, there's one driving force that kept on driving me into making this, and you'll see what, what that is, um, around the end of this video. So hopefully some of the um, single strobes that I've added onto this playlist is not controversial. I have a feeling that Aiden will probably point out some and say that they're not single strobes, but they technically are. So um, starting off with why I consider to be a king of all single strobes, we got the FA-08 hat. Oh, um, um, I apologize, but it seems like I uh, kind of me um, messed up on spelling has. This is what happens when I type too fast on a mobile device. Uh, um, I accidentally either press a different key or press the same key twice. Like in this case, I press A twice. So yeah, that's what happens when you type too fast on mobile, I guess. So, has three night modes, maybe more, I'm not too sure. Quick flash, aka 40 FPMs, medium flash, and slow flash. Um, um, I do apologize if I'm if I'm offending like the professional beacon collectors and tower enthusiasts that are higher up than me. Um, but I have no idea what flash rates the medium or slow flash is. So, uh, yeah, I apologize, but I don't know. So, this beacon is white only, and uh, it's my favorite single strobe. It's, uh, it's also my second favorite beacon of all time. It's all nice and simple and all that stuff. Um, but there is one problem, uh, the cap. So, um, the, the, the reason why the, the cap on top is a problem is because they always tend to fly off. And that's a, that's a major problem because once they fly off, rain can uh, get into them and mess up the internal crap, you know. So, uh, you know what Flash Technology should have done? Just like the FH301, they should have um, they should have never put a cap on the top of the beacon. They should have just covered the top with the lens itself. No cap, just the lens itself. Just like the 301. So uh, yeah, that's the 301 is is a good design. This here, um, it's also a good design, but that cap needs to go. But it ain't no big deal to flash technology anymore because I don't make this beacon anymore, sadly. Moving on to the single strobe of the the um, company that I consider to come to come um, next after flash technology, uh, H Honeywell, the Honeywell FG two thousand. Also has three night modes, slow flash, medium flash, and quick flash, 40 FPM, just like the, um, the FH-308. Um, I put them in the opposite order because um, the first night mode I've seen on this beacon was uh, the slow flash. And then the second one was the medium flash. And then the final one was the quick flash. Wait a second. No, no, no. Now that, I, now that I'm thinking, ben, now that I am... Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually seen the, the quick flash after the slow flash, and then the medium flash came third. So yeah, my mistake, again. This is also a simple design, and uh, it has no cap on the top. You see, it's just the lens itself for the top, you know. This is what flash technology should have done. It would have been nice if they did that, so there wouldn't be um, cap, cap problems, you know. 
just uh, caps flying off in high winds and stuff. But I do know that these beacons here have problems, like uh, the the three thousand B and uh, two thousand. They both have problems. Not too sure about the the two thousand nine B, but um, I I at least know that the three thousand B and maybe this beacon too have some major problems and uh, are not really um um the very very intelligent. Tower enthusiast beacon collectors are really not a fan of these FG beacons because of their problems and stuff. Um, just like Sean, I know Sean is not a big fan of these beacons because uh, they're just poorly made. He said, and he said the older versions, like um, the um, the ones that HP made, like the E E whatever, like four letter word, um, four or three letter word, um, company name, um. They made better. They they made better beacons. Like they they're basically these beacons, but better made. You know, but I still like this beacon. It just looks cool, and I would uh, I would take it any day. Like you know, I'll take it over an LED any day. You know, just whatever. All right. So um, now we're moving on to the ST Beacon Seven. All right. At least I think that's what this beacon is named. It, it's probably not the ST Beacon. I bet that's not its name. But uh, every picture of this beacon I've seen, uh, it kept on saying that it was called the ST Beacon 7. And uh, TWR has... Uh, they, they tend to name their beacons very weirdly for some reason. It's just so weird. Like, um, we got... Um, the TWR fading LED is actually called the... Um, the... Um, the LED Beacon 2. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Just LED Beacon 2. I think. Yeah. It's just a weird name. So I seen this beacon um, with the Quick Flash 40 FPM night mode. Um, um, I'm not too sure about the slow flash. I'm pretty sure it has the slow flash. Uh, I just realized there's another editing mistake. I added white only twice. <laughs> This might have a medium-ish flash, like the Flash Technology FA308, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm so um, quick flash is guaranteed. Slow flash might be guaranteed, might not. I don't know. But the the medium flash, we don't really know if it has that or not. Oh wait, I just realized there's a a long time ago I actually seen a video of a, of these two towers. Like one of them had a. One of them had a um, a three thousand B, and the other one had two sets of uh, of these of these single strobes here, and they were f and they had the slow the slow flash night mode. So yeah, it has a quick and slow flash night modes. So yeah, um, the slow flash is confirmed. There's not too much information about this beacon, nor is there really any videos of it operating, sadly. So uh, yeah. Um, it's a shame, but um, it's it's whatever, I guess. Going into one of my favorite single strobes, and AKA, um, well, I mean, no, what am I? Going into one of my favorite single strobes and Mersin's favorite strobe, we got the FA-306. Has two night modes. Has the, the normal red night mode, and it also has the backup night mode, which makes it shine white. So back then I didn't think this beacon had a backup night mode. I always thought that if the red cone didn't lift up or it was just broken, I always thought that the beacon would just go into its red night mode without the red cone. But Flash Technology decided to give it a backup night mode. But all the times I've seen this beacon, um, all the time I've seen the beacon, um, without the red cone actually working, uh, it's been in normal night mode. So, uh, yeah. Um, um, I really only remember seeing just one instance where there was some random tower at night that had, um, this beacon and it was, uh, flashing white. But it wasn't a backup night mode. It was just normal night mode. I don't know if it was a rewired dual strobe or not. Maybe it was. Maybe it was this beacon. I don't know. This is obviously a red and white beacon. So uh, yeah, uh, white for day mode and red for night mode. Jumping into the brother from another mother beacon, we got the L three hundred three dual. 
um, beacon, the dual strobe. No, not do. It's a, a dual colored single strobe. So um, this beacon here, uh, it has the ability to shine white, like all single, well, most single strobes have. And then it also has a rare ability to shine red. Like single strobes uh, don't usually have the ability to shine red. So I really, really love it when uh, when single strobes that shine white are actually able to shine red as well. Because uh, we get things like this. Though it's night mode sucks. It's basically the, um, the FTS 370 crappy LED night mode. So uh, yeah, um, it's not really too good, you know. But it's it's better than the 370 because uh, it's a strobe and it's basically the FHS 6 but better really like it's built better and all that crap like uh, yeah the FHS the FHS 6 has a lot of problems. This beacon here um, is basically the FHS 6 if it didn't have all those problems. The red cone and all that crap will break over and over again. While this one here didn't really have those problems, so uh, yeah, at least that's what Sean told me. So it has uh, at least one confirmed night mode. Um, um, it has normal red night mode. I don't know about backup night mode. It might have that or it might not. I don't know. But um, even if the red cone is either broken or just not really working, it will still look like it's in a it's it, I mean it'll look like it's in a, a backup night mode anyways because uh, it's uh, it's night mode you know it's just uh, it's uh, it's just a crappy LED night mode basically it's um, kind of like um, a, a normal single strobe night mode like the FH08 and stuff but it's uh, 20 FPM instead of um, 40 FPM I also heard that this might possibly have two other night modes um, so, uh, yeah, like I remember, um, I remember stating my disappointment about this beacon's night mode in one of John Moyock's videos about this beacon operating. And, uh, I, I said like, is there, is there a chance this beacon has better night mode, has a better night mode than this crap here? Like, um, I re I'm really not a fan of the night mode, but the beacon is awesome. I really want this beacon to have a, have a better night mode somewhere inside of it. And I'm pretty sure I also told him that I heard that that it has like nine night modes or something like that, eight or nine. I don't know. He um, responded by um, by telling me that there's actually um, he only knows the beacon that um, can go into uh, two other night modes. I'm pretty sure it's uh, thirty and uh, thirty and something else. I forgot. I don't know. Um, when I typed up the 30 um, FPM, it was even worse than the 20 FPM, even though, like, uh, the 30 FPM is supposed to be, like, you know, better. Like, take a look at the modern LED. At least that's what I think he said. I, I'm not too sure. I might be misremembering. So, uh, yeah, this um, this is a, a white and red beacon. So, yeah, white for day, red for night. This is a very rare beacon. I only know of one tower that has this beacon and it's a, it's a water tower somewhere close to Oklahoma City. So yeah, and fun fact, I actually, um, actually had a chance to film it from the highway, from a distance, but I didn't because I don't think I've seen it. But I wish I did because uh, even if I didn't know at the time of filming, I would eventually find out that this tower has the L303 single stroke, white and red single stroke. Up next is the um, the um, the brother of the the L three hundred three dual. This here is the L three hundred three white version beacon. So this is basically the the beacon we just looked at, but white only. So yeah, remove the the red cone and give it the um, give it a normal uh, single strobe night mode, which is usually the forty flash per minute per minute um, night mode. I'm pretty sure this beacon has it because I've seen a Roblox video of of this town. I mean, of this beacon with that night mode, but it's Roblox. Um, a lot of people make beacons and all that crap on Roblox, and uh, it's really not. It's really um, you don't know um, if it's actually canon to the beacon or just made up for for just enjoyment, I guess. So yeah, it's uh, it's whatever. Um, 
at least has one night mode. So, uh, yeah, it obviously has one night mode. I don't know about any other, though, like any different flash rates and all that stuff. And it's a white-only beacon, obviously. Now we're going to dive into our first controversial single strobe. So uh, this here is the, the STLD Beacon 2. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called as well. I don't know. It's a, it's a mystery. Again, Google kept on telling me that this is the name of this beacon. But I always call it the strobe and LED, but the TWR strobe and LED. Really, any just it's a better name than what um, TWR can come up with. Really, like seriously, man. So it at least has one night mode, and uh, I don't know about backup night mode. So um, this here is a strobe on it's it's a strobe on top of an LED basically. So here's the reason why it might be controversial to some tower enthusiasts. Um, usually when you think of single strobes, you think of just single strobes just by themselves, like just, um, just one lens, just one, one light, basically just all that stuff. Um, so yeah, um, you wouldn't really think of a single strobe having some sort of other, um, beacon from a different type of, um, obstruction light on it. Like this here with it having an LED below the strobe. But I always I always consider this beacon a, a single strobe because technically it's not a dual strobe because uh, it's half strobe half LED. A dual strobe is when the beacon is fully strobed, like the FH324 has a strobe flash, t um, st yeah, um, strobe flash tube for day and strobe flash tube for night. This one only has one fl strobe flash tube and the rest is LED. So yeah, um, like if you guys, uh, if you, um, uh, you guys probably won't consider this to be a single strobe, but I for I'll forever consider this to be a single strobe. Um, so yeah, I don't think Aiden will like this though. But, um, I'm pretty sure he consider this to be um, an um, a honorable mention to the dual strobes, like dual strobe honorable mention, which I'll also add this beacon as an honorable honorable mention when I make the dual strobe video. So yeah, like I said, it has just um, a red LED night mode, and uh, backup night mode is a little bit of a mystery because i never seen it on backup night mode, nor have I ever heard of it being on backup night mode. I only heard of it either at night, uh, either um, it's LED working or the beacon itself just doesn't work at all. I never heard of any backup night mode on this beacon, and uh, yeah. I bet it does have one, but the, um, it's uh, very rare for uh, this beacon to go into backup night mode. I don't know. It's just something. It just It's a little mystery. So this is obviously a white and red single strobe, just like the other two we just looked at. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, you might not consider this to be a single strobe, but I fully consider this to be a single strobe. Because it's not a dual strobe. It's a single strobe because it's just one strobe with an LED. All right, so this one here, I really don't know much about, but just really, it just, I don't know crap about this beacon. So it's just some random single strobe from TWR. This is, um, this is a random beacon that's in John Moyock's collection. Uh, he hasn't made a video of it yet, though he has pictures of it. Like um, the two pictures, well, two of the little pictures of the beacon you're able to see are just pictures. Well, the same picture, they're the same picture from John Boyock. Really, there's only two pictures of this beacon, so I had to reuse one for the three, the triple pictures, you know. Picture trio. I have no idea how many how many night modes it has, but I probably should have just said it has at least one instead of just putting three um, um, question marks. So yeah, it's white only as well. Like, um, no, I've never seen it operate on day or night mode. But you can definitely tell it does not shine red, and it will never, and it never will. You know, like uh, you can see that um, you you can't really see any red inside, so there's no red cone. Though I think it would be cool if this was another beacon that had a red cone to, for night mode. Like that would be nice. But um, it'll kind of ruin the origin the originality of the FH06, like uh, just a little bit, you know. You know, like, um, 
pretty sure the um, the FH trio the FH trio six uh, is the first um, comes first, like just comes before the L three L three. I'm pretty sure. So it's older than the L three L three. All right, so um, we're hopping into another cone strobe. Yeah, uh, I know. Fight me. So um, we got the FH trio one has three night modes, maybe more, just like the FH trio eight. Um, I'm not too sure. So this here is why I call good beacon assign because instead of a cap we have um, um, the lens itself with a bird spike. The bird spike isn't really anything important but it just makes the beacon look cooler. The 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 top though, the top is just the, the lens itself. That's why I like. Um, these are also called 300 millimeter strobes because I'm pretty sure they're also 300 millimeter. 300 millimeters, uh, yeah, so it's whatever. At least that's what Merzen told me. So this has um, the quick flash 40 FPM night mode, has medium flash and slow flash night modes. And it's also white only, obviously. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very nice beacon, though I um, really don't know much towers with this beacon because the FH-08 was created to replace this beacon, obviously. Just like the FH324 was created to replace the FH306. Here's one of the most famous and legendary single strobes of single strobes, uh, you know. This is the KG225. Has two night modes, quick flash, 40 flash per minute, and um, the medium flash. So uh, I, seen, uh, I seen it on the medium flash at least once. There's a long lines tower in... Uh, close to Jefferson City. I forgot the little town that was nearby. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's a Long Lines Tower that used to have the KG-225 and KG-114 set up, but the 114 incandescent was removed and replaced with an LED, leaving the, um, leaving the KG-225 up there to rot, basically. But I remember seeing the KG-225 at day and night. At day, it was on. It was just normal and stuff. But at night, it, I I vividly remember it having the quick flash, forty flash per minute night night mode. So yeah, and there's also videos uh, of this beacon with the medium flash. Like, if you go to uh, John Boyock's videos and Merzen's videos, you would see um, it's that night mode. Basically, that's the most common night mode that the KT two twenty five has to offer. I um uh, I heard bad things about this from Sean. I'm pretty sure Sean said this is this is not the um, the best beacon out there. Like it's not um, built very good. I'm not too sure about that. I don't want to believe that it's a bad beacon because this is this is such a classic. Really, I like how half the beacon is just a flash tube, and the other half is literally is literally just a box of controls and wires and all that crap. This here was the very first beacon I ever got to film for this channel. So yeah, it's a pretty nice beacon. Can't believe I actually found it in somebody's yard in, uh, in somewhere in Georgia. Here's another very common single strobe. This here is the FH-307. Has, it has one night mode, but with different controllers, you're actually able to give it more night modes, but they're not intended. It's only it only has one intended night mode. The other night modes are just uh, night modes that you can manually give it with different with uh, different um, PCs. You know, like uh, John Boyock uh, um, set it to the the white only quick flash and white only medium flash. Um, no, white only quick flash and slow flash night modes that the FH-08 has. So that's pretty cool. And he also uh, gave this beacon a, a day mode as well. So you can say it has all those modes, but they're not intended for this beacon. So it really only has one night mode, the red night mode, which is the same night mode as the FH-324 and old school LEDs. So yeah, it's very pretty nice, you know. Um, it's obviously red only. Back then, I used to think this was a rare beacon, but um, I was so blind to TV towers, you know. Like, um, I said, I kept on saying it was rare because I you never see this beacon on normal towers like cell towers or radio towers. The only time you see this beacon is if a tower has if the tower has box strobes, basically. 
since um, these can be paired up with um, the F the FTB two hundred five box strobes and the um, the eight the the FH three twenty four or three hundred six, um, that's um, I guess that's uh, the main use of this beacon is to just be a beacon for tall towers with box strobes. Here's another red only beacon, well, red only strobe. Um, so yeah, second red strobe FG two thousand nine B. One of the rarest beacons I know of. This beacon has four night modes. The 40 flash per minute, per minute night mode. Uh, it, it's not the the FS08 one. It's, uh, it's different. Um, it has a 30 FPM night mode and 20 FPM night mode and 60 FPM night mode. Yeah, the 60 FPM night mode is very, very weird. I have to say, I think the, the best one is uh, the 20 FPM night mode. I'm not a fan of the the 20 fpm 20 fpm night modes on beacons, but this one is an exception. Like this beacon, along with the the um, the 3000 B, kind of changes it up. It it just because it has um, the f it, uh, the 20 fpm night mode doesn't mean it has that horrible crappy LED FGS 370 night mode that the the FGS 370 and uh, the L303 has. It actually has a little something different. You know the night mode on the the Rala Highway Patrol, Highway Patrol Tower? That's the night mode I'm talking about. So yeah, four night modes. Not as much as um, the 3000B. Like the 3000B, I have to say, like, um, out of all the beacons, that is one of the... That has one of the... the that is... Um, what am I saying? All I'm trying to say is that beacon has quite a lot of night modes, and I can't wait to cover it soon. This is obviously uh, red only as well, so yeah, I don't really know. This has problems like the other two beacon, other two FG beacons, but I'm pretty sure it does. I'll just have to, I'll just have to ask Sean that one day. Here's another very, very rare beacon. You can't, you don't even see this on TV towers. Like TV towers, you don't even see this. Like seriously, man. Like, um, really, the only red strobes you'll see on a TV tower are um, FS 307s no other one you'll be able to see really and you can't find images of it on google either so i had to just take uh three pictures of the twr uh, twr dual strobe and cut out the the red half of the strobe and just put it on the slides you know so yeah it's a it's a little weak but that's all i have there's literally only one picture of this beacon, and it's a, a dual version of this beacon, so it's a dual strobe, basically. So it doesn't count for this list, at least, because it's a dual strobe, even if it's all red. So it, it at least has one night mode. Um, the normal red night mode, I'm pretty sure it's a 20 fpm night, 20 fpm, um, like the the 3000B. And FG and uh, the 2009B too. Pretty sure, um, like, uh, I know that um, this beacon along. Well, I, I mean, at least I. No, no, no. I, I, I know this beacon has um, one of the many night modes that the 3000B has. So that means that um, it has the same night mode and all that crap. So uh, pretty sure it's the 20 FPM night mode, but it's not crappy. It's not crappy like I said earlier with the other beacon i did i did hear that it has like nine night modes from someone a long time ago like um pretty sure somebody told me that the the twr dual strobe has like nine night modes so if that's true then those nine night modes apply to this beacon too since this is just the 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 red part of that strobe so uh yeah it's probably not true haven't heard anything about it from Sean. Like, uh, I know he's not a TWR fan, but I, I would imagine him talking about it at least once. Sean is, like, very smart when it comes to beacons. So, uh, yeah. This is obviously a red-only beacon. It's a, it's a red strobe. That's why they're called red strobes. Here is by far the rarest red strobe that we have. Or at least that's why I say it. Like, it's, I think it's the rarest one. This here is... Uh, the red version of the L303 so uh, yeah um, has at least one night mode 20 FPM red night mode sadly this here is the crappy 20 FPM 
just like the the um, just like uh just like the red can white oh I, I see what happened um i had another typo here it that's supposed to say red and white but for some reason there's a c in the middle of red and so uh yeah um had to fix that after this video i guess so yeah just like the red and white version of this beacon it might have three night modes so yeah the the first night mode is one of them like i said that um um the red and white 303 l303 has like um one night mode but it might have two two more at least um this here applies since uh, it's the red version of that beacon so uh, yeah um has one night mode but it might have three because uh it might have two others so it makes three simple math boys i don't really know much about this um but it's red only at least and it's a it's a it's the only red cone strobe i know of isn't that special thank you orga for creating this beacon and the other the other one that came before but you could have gave these uh, this and the, and the other beacon better night modes better night modes but no you, you just decided not to here's another controversial one this here is a, a strobe and incandescent 300 millimeter. Yeah, you heard me right. This here is half strobe, half incandescent. So yeah, strobe 300 millimeters exist. I know that for quite a while because uh, Eric Pape, uh, he revealed that Canada has um, a dual strobe that is uh, basically a 300 millimeter. 300 millimeter dual strobe. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it's a uh, it's a uh, kind of kind of like the 3000B because it has the same night mode as the 3000B, at least one of them. You know the original night mode, like the um, pretty sure the the 40 flash per minute. You know, so um, that's the night mode it has. It has one night mode, has the incandescent night mode, and okay, my dog broken. Penelope, seriously, why are you always breaking into my room? Come on, dog. I got a burglar dog. Penelope, you know that um, this is uh, breaking and entering? You know that's a, that's a crime, you know? A crime you committed quite a lot, you know? Alright, so um, this is like an upside down dual strobe. So uh, yeah, the strobe is on top while the incandescent is below. So yeah, it's a very cool beacon though. There is no video of it operating on day mode or night mode. Penelope, why are you growling at me? My dog got a fresh haircut today. So yeah, like I said, has incandescent night mode, and it might have the backup night mode. I'm not too sure. I'm not really sure because the lack of information of, of this beacon. So yeah, um, um, say what you want, but this here is technically a single strobe because the top part of the beacon is a strobe. The other half is a is an incandescent. So yeah, only half of it is a strobe, leaving it just you know. You know what I'm trying to say. It's just it's a it's a single strobe basically. Fight me, I guess. Like it's a single strobe, not a dual strobe, not a dual strobe honorable mention. That's why that's why I meant to say, at least not on this list. On the dual strobe list, on the other hand, this here is an honorable mention. This here is by far one of my favorite single strobes. So uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. This here has a high ranking because. Uh, it's basically why I always imagine I always imagine there being a beacon that was half strobe, half incandescent, and this beacon along with another beacon, um, just um, that's basically my imagination coming come true, you know, you know, just whatever. Merzen's favorite big LT quote is, "You know, this beacon is white and red, so uh, yeah, it's um, very obvious." Now then. We move on to the white only version of that beacon. This here is more of a single strobe than the other beacon we just seen. This here is why I like to call the 150 millimeter strobe. Get it? Because it's literally half. Like three half of 300 is uh, 150. Hey, <laughs> funny math joke. Funny, funny. Since Aiden is kind of a math enthusiast, uh, he'll enjoy that one. So yeah. Um, this beacon here is pretty cool. It's a, it's a, another one of my favorite, uh, one, another one of my favorite strobe, uh, one of my favorite 
be, um, another one of my favorite single strobes. That's what that's what I was trying to say. Why is it not coming out? It has one night mode, I guess. I don't know why I said I guess. That it obviously has one night mode. So yeah, um, white night mode. I don't know. It's also white only, obviously. There is no red in it. So yeah, this here is the reason why I kept on pushing to make this. Um, to make this like. The farther I got, the more excited I got because I get um, I got to actually uh, cover this beacon. So yeah, like um, I would get I would uh, um, get to add it on to you know um, the the slide presentation to to show that it is a single strobe. So yeah, I think the um, um, 150 millimeter strobe is a very fitting name for this beacon because. Uh, um, it's half of a 300 millimeter basically even though it's uh not technically uh not technically 150 millimeters like i would imagine it being more um but still um that's why i like to call it just for the little joke because uh 300 millimeters and half of 300 is 150. here's another single stroke that i barely have any information about so um, this here um, is the ITL single strobe. It's basically a ripoff of the FH308. So uh, yeah, not too interesting. It's just a clone. My throat's hurting now. Bro, I really hate how um, um, the videos I get excited to make are usually the ones where I get so I get tired of very fast and uh, my throat hurts for talking too much. Like literally, it doesn't happen in any other video. But the videos I want to make, like um, the exciting videos and all that crap I want to make, are usually ones that um, I get bored on and my throat starts to hurt because of all the talking too. Not too sure about its night mode. Um, I'm I'm going to guess that it has a 40 flash per minute quick flash night mode. I'm not too sure, but it's obviously white only, just like um. The other some of the other single strokes we just looked at here so yeah not much information so let's get into our final beacons i'm pretty sure it's our final two for the video all right so this here's another controversial one this here is another strobe and incandescent beacon not exactly a 300 millimeter this is probably more than 300 millimeters um but yeah it's whatever so um yeah Really, we got another 150 millimeter case for the joke, for the joke, you know, because um, the bot that the bottom of the the bottom half of the beacon is basically just the bottom of a 300 millimeter. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny. So the top is a strobe and the bottom is an incandescent. So yeah, Merzen uh, Merzen thought this was just a dual strobe, but he found out that the red half of the beacon is actually an incandescent. So uh, yeah, so we can't include it on to. Uh, I mean, we um, we can't call it, um, we can't call it a dual strobe, obviously, but we can have it as an honorable 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 mention. Honorable mention, man, that was hard. When I talk too much, I usually um, struggle on words. Not because I not because my speech impediment is that bad. It's just because I've been talking for quite a while. Always happens in long videos like this. I apologize. There's really only one picture of this beacon, um, sadly. And there's no video of it operating in day mode or night mode. But it at least has one night mode. Has incandescent night mode. And I don't really know about backup night mode. It might have one. I would hope because that will add to night modes. So yeah, it's a, it's a white and red beacon, obviously. So uh, yeah, let's move on to our final beacon now. Another strobe and LED beacon. So this is another controversial one because uh, some people might not consider this, along with the other ones, to be single strobes. Because uh, it's not just the strobes themselves. But I consider them to be because uh, there's only just one strobe. The other half is an LED. Or it's just some other beacon from one of the other two beacon categories i mean like beacon types not categories it at least has one night mode has a red led night mode um i don't know about backup night mode it's red and white and all that stuff um i have a feeling that it, it has a similar night mode to the twr strobin led night mode uh, strobin led beacon i don't know i just have that feeling 
And it's also also um, it's in the same order as that beacon too. Um, strobe on top, LED on bottom, just like that beacon. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But sadly, this here is our last beacon for this video and for this slideshow as well. Like um, after this, there is no other beacon. But soon there's probably going to be some more added. Once I get more pictures and information about those random beacons I have not included. Um, one of those beacons being the TWR red... Uh, I mean, uh, I meant to say the ITL red strobe. I'm pretty sure ITL makes red strobes, right? I don't know. Maybe they just make dual strobes and then white single strobes. I don't know. It, they might. I would imagine them making red strobes for TV towers too, even though I really don't see that at all. Like, seriously. i never seen a TWR red strobe in my life, along with a 2009B and a TWR red strobe. So yeah, um, there's really no picture of that beacon, and there's no information about it. So we don't really know if it exists or not, but um, we might add it on to the video. Well, I mean, I mean, I meant to say might add it on to this uh Play it, I mean slideshow, but there would be no pictures, only information. So that'll be pretty boring, you know. Actually, um, I have a little way of solving the picture problem. I'm gonna have somebody change the color of the the white single strobe lens to red to kind of make it look like a red strobe. So it might be fake and artificial, but that's the closest we got. All right, so that's the end of the video. As you can see. I am tapping the screen right now, and there's no other slides ahead. So this here is going to be the end. See you all later. Bye.